Hey everyone, this is Ryan Cote and Matt Cote from the Ballantine Corporation here with a video for you today. Well, lately we have noticed some traffic coming to our blog from people looking for information on the Intelligent Mail barcode, specifically what it does and how to read the barcode. So we thought it made more sense to create a screencast instead of our normal video so we can show you the barcode and how to read it on the screen here. So Matt's going to take over. He is our Intelligent Mail barcode expert here at Ballantine and he's going to show you how to read an IMB and give you some information on it. Hi Ryan, thank you for that warm introduction. As Ryan mentioned, I'll be going over the benefits of the IMB as well as how to read it slash decode it. Now there's many new features of the IMB, but the first, the, the two that are most important that I think are the ability to get free address correction services back to you and that you have to use the full service option and again the returns are free before you'd have to pay up to 25 cents to get these back. The other new feature is the ability to track each individual piece of, piece of mail. Um, each piece is assigned a unique number therefore it's trackable by the post office uh, right down to when it gets to the uh, DDU. So now you know the benefits. The barcode is made up of a few different features. Uh, the one feature is the ascender barcode, the ascender bar. The next would be the full bar. Third is the tracker. And the fourth would be the descender. And again, you can see why they call it this. The ascender is basically half a line that goes up. Full bar is a full line. Tracker is a uh, half of a line. And descender goes down. And this enables, using four bars enables the post office to capture um, such a great amount of information. So I give you a little description here. This is how you decode it. Each bar is assigned a letter. A for sender, F for full, T for tracker, and D for descender. Now if you read the, the way you read the barcode is really by just going bar by bar and assigning it with a letter. So what I did was on this particular barcode I just went through and gave you what each individual bar would be and then what you do is you put this in the post office's decoder field click a button and it gives you all the information that's included in that barcode the service type ID it gives you what um, a mailer ID you've chosen the unique number or serial number and then a delivery point which is basically what the postnet old postnet barcode used to be so um, we're going to show you the example now of, of decoding the barcode Okay, to simply decode the, um, the barcode, go to the URL listed here. And then put the information into this field where it says barcode character. And again, this is the ATF, all the barcode information. Hit decode. And then what it does, it'll spit out the information for you, what your barcode ID is made up of, special services, uh, mailer ID, which you get from the post office, serial number, which is the unique identifier of each individual piece, and delivery point zip code, which again is the old information from the PostNet barcode. Um, again, this is a dummy barcode, so this information is not correct. Um, obviously, special services would be the service that you chose, mailer ID would be, be your mailer ID, and so on and so forth. So, uh, we hope this was informative. And um, any questions, please contact me. Ryan will post the information on the blog. Okay, thank you, Matt. That was excellent. So as he mentioned, if you have any questions whatsoever about the Intelligent Mail barcode, Matt's email address is below this video. Uh, feel free to reach out to him. And if you want to receive an email update whenever we post a new video or case study or information to this blog, there are two sign-up boxes. One is top right and one is below this video. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great 4th of July weekend. Bye.